Ryan Little. <laughs> okay, y'all, so this is my hair. I have taken my twist out. This is what she's looking like. We've grown a lot, okay? My hair has grown so much. I'll do a, vid a different video on my hair growth journey and what I use to get my hair to grow. But this is um, the pre-poo stage. I have taken my twist out and I'm just going to prep my hair for the wash. I've only had these twists in for about two and a half weeks. So I don't, and I don't put any product in my hair um, when I have in twists. This time I did um, on my scalp. So I'm actually gonna do um, a few things to my scalp before I actually shampoo it. What I'm gonna do first, I have some water here with some tea tree oil. And this is the tea tree oil that I have. It is Australian tea tree oil. I'm going to spray this all over my hair just to wet it. And then after that, I like to put in this oil mixture that I use. Definitely has tea tree in it. I think it might have eucalyptus in it as well. But what I like to, the different types of, I don't know exactly what's in here. It's definitely some tea tree and some eucalyptus essential oils. But I also like um, this Jamaican mango and lime black castor oil. They have a lot of different types. But the one that I have is rosemary. They have a tea tree one that I really wanted, but I think they were sold out. Um, but you can just find that at your beauty supply store. I make different oil mixtures and I put it in my head before I shampoo just to moisturize my hair and kind of like a condition before like a what is it called a a pre-poo but it's called a what a what a what um a co-wash <laughs> um yeah so kind of like a co-wash before I go in and shampoo it what I am gonna use to shampoo my hair is this Afro G. Love this stuff. This stuff, I think, really restored my hair. I don't know if you guys remember, but my hair was blonde. It's been bleach blonde for several times and for quite a while. Um, by now, most of it should be cut off. But um, this has definitely restored my hair. So this is the shampoo for damaged hair. I got this from Sally's. It may have been $7.99, something like that. Not super expensive, but I definitely see a difference when I'm using Apogee products. And then as a part of my pre-poo, I'm gonna use Uncle Funky's Daughter. This is the Bye Bye Build Up, and it's the cleansing conditioner. So um, I'm gonna spray this all over my hair. You definitely wanna make sure that you have a wide tooth comb um, or a Denman brush, but to detangle, I like to use a wide tooth comb just because it's a little bit wider. The Denman is a little bit more less, it has less space in between the bristles. So I like to use a wide tooth comb just to be safe. And I have not combed my hair in two weeks, so I'm gonna have a lot of shedding, which is normal because you're supposed to, um, your hair is supposed to shed. So I'm gonna have a lot of shedding. But my hair is pretty damp at this point. Look how long it's getting. I have some heat damage here in the front, but that's cool. It looks cute. <laughs> um. So the reason that I like to do all of this before I shampoo is because this shampoo is very clarifying. Um, and that's what I need right now because I haven't washed my hair in so long. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, put this oil on my scalp. I love the eucalyptus and the tea tree because it feels so good on my scalp. I wish I had like peppermint. Maybe it's peppermint in here, I don't know. I'm gonna make sure that I get my edges all around the perimeter just because they have been out and um, there's been a lot of friction up against them. So I wanna make sure I take a little extra care on the perimeter of my hair. 
And then I'm gonna do a little scalp massage. And since I am going to be using a clarifying shampoo, I am going to just put this on my hair and not so much focusing on the scalp. This was like my regular week where I wash my hair. I would put this on the scalp and just cleanse my scalp that way so that I'm not having to use such a harsh shampoo every week. But I need a clarifying shampoo this week so I'm just gonna focus this on the ends just to make sure my ends are moisturized. I love the way this smells. I love Uncle Funky's daughter's like hair care. It's really, really good. So now I'm actually gonna go through and just detangle a little bit with my fingers and then once I feel like she's ready, I'm gonna go in with the wide tooth comb. I just wanna get all the shedding out before I get to the sink and it's just hair all in the sink. So I have finger detangled my hair and I'm just really shook at how long it is. I'm gonna show you how much shedding I have from that. And I've had more shedding um, yesterday when I was taking the twist out. Um, so this is what I got. I don't know if that's a lot or I guess that's pretty normal, I guess. Um, my hair still feels really thick, so um, I'm not really worried about the shedding. I am really shook though about how long my hair is. Like, look at the drop, which this drop honestly wouldn't be there if it, if it wasn't for the heat damage. As you can see, my shrinkage is pretty real. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and then I will come back to show you how I shampoo my hair. I don't put the shampoo on the actual hair. I put it on my scalp. So I'll come back and show you how I do that. I'm gonna go and rinse my hair now. So BRB. Okay, so I'm rinsed out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the shampoo in. And what I like to do, I wish that I had another one of these, but this is how I like to do it. I'm going to part my hair the shampoo on the scalp and move on to the next section okay so once it is parted and applied I'm just going to do sort of like a scalp massage and just massage it into my scalp just to lift any debris and dirt off of my scalp I do it this way because I don't necessarily want to strip the oils out of my hair, but naturally the shampoo is gonna get in my hair. But I want it to focus most of it on my scalp because that's where the dirty is, that's the source. And scalp massages really help with hair growth. So I like to do as many scalp massages as possible throughout this routine because I like hair growth. Um, no, so I'm not going to do it a second time. I don't feel like my hair is that dirty. And like I said, the shampoo is pretty clarifying. So I don't think that I'm gonna do it again, especially since I did use the co-wash before I did this process. So um, yeah, I'm gonna rinse and then I'll be back. Okay, so in my hair is... <laughs> Um, completely rinsed out. I'm actually gonna put some more water in it because it's getting a little dry. And then what I'm gonna do now is put some of this Lot of Body Milk and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. I actually really love this stuff. 
I like the way that it makes my hair feel. My hair is super moisturized when I use this stuff. So I'm gonna put this in there. And I'm actually gonna put some of this Uncle Funky's Daughter Thirsty Curls in there just for some extra moisture. My hair is super bouncy, even though it's in a fro and it's not been entangled. It's like really bouncy and very soft. So I am detangled and I'm ready to move on to the next step, but I'm splitting this video or this process up into different parts, I guess. So this is part one, how I um, cleanse my hair after taking my braids out. And next is gonna be what I use in my hair to help it grow. So that's gonna be an interesting video, stay tuned. I hope you guys like this series that I'm gonna start doing. Um, and um, yeah, I think it's gonna be a three part. So this one's gonna be sh the wash day, I guess. Um, next is gonna be what I do to treat my hair, I guess, to help it grow. And then third one is gonna be styling, what I use to style my hair. So um, yeah, I love you guys and I hope you stay tuned for the part two <laughs> of this series. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.